back to my channel, everybody. Uh, I did my hair. I cut and colored it myself just a couple days ago. It looks so much better. I'm so much happier. I had like six inches of roots growing. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I am super pumped about this week's projects. I cannot wait to show you, but we're going to wait until the morning because I just ate a big meal. I'm stuffed. The packages just came in. I just have to pick up like one or two more things tomorrow afternoon to start everything. But I will see you in the morning where you can find out what we're doing. Evidence. Evidence. So I just went to uh, I just went to Home Depot and I got two spools of the 12 gauge wire. And now I am getting ready to go into Joanne's uh, craft store and get some stuff. So let's go shopping. Okay, so these are a lot, you can't see me. <laughs> these are a lot more expensive, but you get a lot more different variety. So we are going with this big bag. And I got the stuff I need, and I'm heading back to the bills. So, I noticed I say so, so much. I should have a counter that just counts how many times I say it. <laughs> Anyways, um, you notice how when I'm applying the Mod Podge to the moss, I'm pushing downward. I'm not scooting smoothly across. I'm pushing downward in little areas like this. And that is to keep the texture as natural as possible. That's also the reason I'm using this transparent Mod Podge. I didn't want to worry about any kind of residue being noticeable on there. I really love the colors of the amber and the greens, and I just want to keep that. So we're going to let this dry for about 20, 30 minutes or so, and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's nice and dry. Okay, so... It's been about 30 minutes or so, and I just looked at the time and realized I have a consultation. So I have uh, 
got to head out. But you can see still some like spots where it's wet, where it still looks a little white. But it'll look nice when it's done. Um, but yeah, it'll for sure be dry by the time I get back from the consultation. So I'm just going to set this aside to keep it away from the animals and stuff. And then I'm going to head to the shop. I'll catch up with you guys later. Hey, so it's dark out, obviously. I have one of my lanterns going. It's nice. Rogue's chilling behind me. Hello, baby. But yeah, I decided to just eat and chill the rest of the night tonight because I'd rather get a fresh start. I like starting early in the morning if I can with these projects just to get as much done as possible. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the morning. I thought we were done with this cold weather, but it's like 40 degrees this morning. Um, the high is going to be 43. Which means I'm gonna walk the girls, and then unfortunately I'm gonna have to go get some more uh, diesel fuel for the uh, diesel heater because I'm out. I didn't think I'd have to use it again. It's gonna be chilly all day. So I guess I gotta get up out of bed where it's warm. Get my day started. Um, so I'm using propane heat this morning until I went to the gas station or until I'm going to go to the gas station anyway so I've got to get some diesel and do diesel heat today um, so no being lazy I've got to go to the gas station here in a minute uh, but I've got to do that because the thing with propane heat is that it causes a lot of condensation and I'm sure you already know what I'm working on today because I'm sure it's going to be in the title uh, and the thumbnail, but uh, I'm going to be doing ceiling tiles. So not only do I need to try to prevent any condensation while I'm trying to put those up, uh, but the temperature also needs to be warm enough that it's not going to have any issue uh, drying properly. So that being said, I'm going to clean the muddy paws off my girls and then head to the gas station to get some diesel. So I don't know. I haven't tried. Okay. Let me start from the beginning here. My question was just answered before I could even ask it. Okay. So here's the thing. I wanted to run my diesel heater because of the more dry heat because of all the condensation of the propane heater to make sure it was warm enough in here for all the adhesives and stuff that I'm going to be using for the ceiling tiles. Here's the thing about that is it's been getting really hot, typically. This is a fluke. I don't know what's going on today. But it had been getting pretty hot, and for some reason, the charge controller that I had for the 200 watts would not run my max fans because it didn't have the right, like, the adapters, the place that I would plug it in, didn't work with my max fans. I don't know why. It was a very similar thing to the original one that I had for just the 100 watts. So, I had to disconnect 100 watts of panels and to use my smaller charge controller so that I could use my max fans. So now, 
because I had to do that, now it's not enough power to run my diesel heater. Maybe the sun will warm it up enough in here. I'll, I'll just give it a little time. Maybe the sun will warm it up. If not, I guess I'm going to have to do it tomorrow. So I'm really hoping, I just looked at the weather, the weather's going to be like 53 tomorrow, which means it'll probably get like 60 or 70 in the bus if I leave all the windows closed. So tomorrow should be warm enough, but I do have an appointment at 3 o'clock that afternoon. So I'm hoping it'll warm up enough today so I can start on it today. If not, I have until like 2 tomorrow to work on it. So hopefully I can start it today though. Fingers crossed for me. All right, so it's warm enough in here to get started on this. I think I'm going to start with just finishing up this back area first. Um, I just had to order like another five or six panels to like go back here and finish this off. But these are two foot by two foot, roughly, square. Um, it's called uh, Antique Copper, and it's a PVC panel. It's actually really thin, so there's a little bit of flexibility. It's easy to cut through. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these around the skylight, down in this area, and there's gonna be like one behind the fridge, maybe a couple over here, depending on how well this goes. Um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna work on today. The bathroom might have to uh, be next week's video because I also am gonna be installing ceiling lights in there and a dimmer switch. But here's a sneak peek of the panels for that. The lighting's a little wonky back here, I apologize, but hopefully this gives you like an idea. I will put a link in the description below if you want to check out these uh, PVC panels. They have a lot of really cool looking ones. So as far as what you're going to need, you're going to need a box cutter, some power grab heavy duty Loctite, and I also got scissors, just depending on how much I need to cut off. And But I'm pretty sure that I'm going to have to use the blade because it's a lot sharper and it's going to be easier to get through all these. Because it's so thin, you can crack it very easily. So the box cutter is going to be a better bet on that. Also, um, I'm going to use painter's tape to mark where I'm going to go because I don't want to actually mark on, plus it's so dark. Even if I did mark on it, it'd be hard to see. So I'm just going to take the painter's tape to mark the line that I'm going to cut off of it. So let's get started. show you what's up next. I'm gonna have to, I was trying to angle it already up there, but god it's so dark. Anyways, uh, so you're gonna take your heavy duty Loctite power grab. Get that ready. Let me get it coming out here. Alright, now when you're putting this on, you're gonna put it on everywhere that it's gonna touch, like the wood, right? And where it's gonna overlap your other panels. So basically all around the edges. So when you're putting it on, you actually want to have, can you see me okay? Yes. You want, actually want to, <laughs> this is really thick, hold on, come on out. Oh man, this is thick. All right, let me get it coming out a little bit more. Oh, I think we're good now. All right. So when you're putting this on, you actually want to do some like a uh, little dollop spots, right? And that's what's gonna, you can drag it a little bit and that's fine, but every once in a while I'll just do a slightly bigger dollop. So the good thing is it doesn't have to look neat. I'm just showing you a little bit here. I'm gonna lay it down to actually do this. It'll be a lot easier, but yeah, you wanna do some like areas that are a little bit thicker and a little bit texturized. You don't want it totally smooth. Okay. 
Maybe I can angle you on the other side. Let's try that and see if the lighting's any better, because the lighting is not so good. Let's see if I can... It might be a little bit better, but the lighting's still wonky. You're just going to look and put as much pressure as you can, pushing in on that just to make sure. It is the instant grab, so it will grab pretty quick, but you just want to make sure you hold it up there for a few. Okay, now, you're going to have the areas, the only areas I am worried about it coming out. So I'll clean this up a little bit, but it's not that really because I I have plans. But on the in-between sections in the rows going down, just get a damp paper towel and just go along through there and it'll come right off. I'm going to go ahead and start cutting the other pieces. I don't need to show you all that, I don't think. So I'll just show you when I start installing them up here in a second. had left it on time lapse when I tried to explain this earlier, but there's grid lines on the back of the moss, so you can actually, God, fur everywhere, I swear, all the time. But you can actually just measure how wide you need it and then just cut straight down the grid line, so that's pretty awesome. Um, now, this does come with adhesive on it if you do get some of this, but like I was trying to say before, if there's any kind of moisture in the bus, it might release the adhesive. It did on mine um, from just using the propane during the winter. I had some of this on and it started falling down. So that's why I'm gonna be using the power grab on that and uh, just give it some more holes so I won't have to worry about that even though I am on diesel right now still. I'd rather just make sure it stays in. But yeah, let's get to it. 